They're completely naked. We've got their whole op. I'm going to break it down when we come back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies, many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, 
that we all hate at the bank bailout. The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. This is not a game. This is not entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. This is unlike any other radio broadcast that I think's ever really aired in this country. We are covering the globalist criminal takeover of the nation in real time. And because of that, we exposed the underwear bomber put on the plane by the CIA, had the eyewitnesses on the show, came out on C-SPAN and congressional hearings a month and a half later that that was accurate. We blew that operation. We continue to blow their operations, to short-circuit their operations, to blame the American people for incredibly rare, infrequent terrorism that kills less people than honeybees do every year on record. I hammered those statistics for a while and then Esquire, in the same issue that I was in with a cover story last year, did a story about the honeybees killing more people than terrorism. That's the point, <clears throat> is that the media is listening, the dinosaur media is listening, the new media, the real media is listening. This show has incredible power. And I don't say that from a perspective of narcissism or a power trip. I think everybody who works here, everybody that listens to this show, everybody that carries this broadcast, everyone who is affected by what's happening should realize that this broadcast, even though it's ragtag, is reaching 20 million people a week now, one way or another. Terrestrial, shortwave, you know, AM, FM, internet, YouTube. <sighs> Governments are listening. From Japan to Syria, from Russia to the United States, it's come out mainstream news. Because we really do know the enemy operation. I really have studied it for 25 years, almost 20 on air since 1995. You do something 14, 15 hours a day, you talk to every expert out there, you get a very clear picture of what's going on. I live in a think tank. I live in a war room. And I told you... We've got to dig these clips up. I mean, it's every show that they were going to shoot police and blame it on the Bundy supporters. That they'd have a drill or something, and they've been having them in Las Vegas every week in the last month. They would shoot the patsies, have a few wind-up toy PR actors come out with the official story. The cops won't even know what's going on. The cops were really killed. The citizen was really killed. The so-called shooters are gotten rid of, and now you can project it on to who? Super Patriots, right wing, Tea Party, Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Alex Jones. And folks, when you've got a website that has over a million visitors a day, all of our Facebooks, Twitter, you name it, about three million visitors a day conservatively, Prison Planet, all the other sites, prisonplanet.tv, <laughs> of course, almost everybody's visited Infowars.com. Are they going to go into every computer when somebody kills a cop and say, well, they visited ABC News, they visited DrudgeReport.com, they visited CNN. Why, they visited Yahoo homepage. Yahoo's to blame. Here's a headline. Daily cost issues retraction of InfoWars Poplowski smear, 2009. Within two hours of three Pittsburgh cops being dead, when dishonorably discharged Marine Poplowski got another pit bull that was crapping all over the floor. His mother kicked him out, wouldn't leave, called the police because the dog was urinating and defecating. That's on record. <sighs> they show up. He throws a fit, kills three of them. With a semi-automatic AK-47. Within two hours, they have it on the news, Southern Poverty Law Center, local writer, saying his computer said he did it for Alex Jones. 
We did a search and found out he was a white supremacist sworn to destroy me. Threatened to sue the newspapers and others and forced six different retractions, including in the Pittsburgh paper. You understand? Within two hours of them having him in custody, they were blaming me because he had visited InfoWars. And then we went and searched his handle and everything, and there he was on the white supremacist sites and the other Fed-run groups. A mentally unstable, drunken, unemployed, dishonorably discharged punk who dreamed of kicking my butt and, and, and attacking me and killing me, he said. And then he kills three cops, and I get the blame. Well, guess what? I forced a retraction there. And it's now reached the point, I want to warn everybody, I don't have time for lawsuits. I don't want to sue people. But I have to start suing people when they say I'm deeply racist or when they say I'm behind the Boston bombing. Because I have to say I'm not guilty of this or they're going to teach the police in these briefing rooms like I know they're doing that I'm teaching the public to kill police. So the system sets me up and kills me or throws me in prison, ladies and gentlemen. And if they can get me, folks, they can get anybody. When they were trying to bring down Rush Limbaugh a few years ago, even though he's in direct competition with me in the same time slot, I went with Ted Anderson and bought $100,000 worth of advertising on Rush Limbaugh. And we lost a little bit of money, but it, 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 I think we made like $90,000. It cost about $100,000. Why'd I do that? Because I put my money where my mouth is, folks. You understand that? We either stand up for talk radio and a free and open internet, and we either stand up for free speech. So the, I've got articles here where they're saying thought crime is terrorism. Holder's actually saying that. The guy who ran the cover-up of Oklahoma City as deputy attorney general, the guy that ran the false flag fast and furious and got caught lying about it, his own memo saying, we'll blame the Second Amendment and gun owners for the carnage, CBS News. This false flag, hardcore evil one, has his White House run media matters and all and and all the rest of them, raw story, you name it, lining up before I went on air today to blame who? Alex Jones. Talk about ominous. I said that and thundered lightning just I heard the thunder right above the office. <laughs> <coughs> How many false flag bats? Uh, one, a two, a three. I mean, it's just getting out of control, ladies and gentlemen. And quite frankly, I'm excited. I'm, I'm of good cheer. I'm a person who loves God and loves justice and loves the truth. And I can be proud of what I've done. And I can say that we've been pretty darn accurate trying to get things right, trying to tell the truth. We've got about a 98% accuracy rate. And the system knows that. And it freaks them out that I know them so well. I'm like an old-fashioned police detective tracking the serial killer, getting closer and closer. And there's this weird relationship between me and the establishment that is just unbelievable. I mean, they're, they're all watching right now. The Pentagon's watching right now. Foreign governments are watching right now. Uh, the George Soros groups are watching right now and admitting they're watching. Why? 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 Because I'll tell the truth and other people won't? That's why I'm so attacked. That's why I'm so demonized. That's why they have all the megaphone groups and disinfo and, and, and bots and sock puppets, as they call them, online attacking, 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 attacking. Alex is CIA. Alex works for the Vatican. Alex works for Israel. Alex is Bill Hicks. Alex is a Fed because they know I'm the opposite, folks. I work for justice. I get a real satisfaction out of standing up against evil. I get a complete fulfillment out of it. Not because I'm a hero, but because I won't be a slave. I won't sign on to this fraud. I see through the scam. I won't put my name on it. I'm in a fight for my life, ladies and gentlemen. And so are you. Make no mistake, the globalists have hated this country all along. They want to bring it down. I mean, look at these headlines on DrudgeReport.com. 
we'll put it on screen for TV viewers. America struggles with surge in child migration. Hundreds of thousands. The third world just says, put your kids on a plane. Obama will take them. I mean, that's in the news. Come to America, have your baby paid for. Judge, government has simply chosen not to enforce border security laws. Yeah, I was down on the Texas border um, two months ago. I